Hi, this is Nick with Nick's TV Repair. In this video, I will show you how to properly pair your Sony mainboard with your TV set. We will also go over all the known issues that may occur during the installation and how to resolve them. For the purpose of this video, we have already installed the mainboard back into the TV. For any questions regarding the installation, click the link at the top right corner of the screen. Okay. Step one, let's plug in the TV and see what happens. On occasion, your board will work first try and will not require to be paired with your set. Most often, we do expect the pilot light to flash an amber and green color, indicating the main board requires pairing to the TCON and screen. If this is the case, simply disconnect the TV from power, insert the USB flash drive we have provided, and plug in the set once again. Let's wait at least 10 to 15 seconds for the pilot light to turn on. I am noticing our flash drive does have a red light, indicating it is getting power. Unfortunately, we are getting another amber green color from the pilot light. If the pilot light turns to a white pulsing light, then the pairing process has begun. You must not disconnect power, attempt to turn on or off the TV while the white light is pulsing. If you do so, the module will break and you will need to send it back for additional repairs. If the pilot light still flashes an amber and green light, however, the pairing procedure did not take, in which case we will want to disconnect the power and try again. We will want to try this at least three times. If this does not work by the third try, the next step is to disconnect your LVDS ribbons and reconnect them. You may think your LVDS ribbons are properly connected, however the slightest misalignment can cause improper contact and thus hinder communication between the mainboard, the TCON, and the panel. Once the LVDS ribbons are reconnected, we'll want to repeat the process at least three more times or until the pairing procedure occurs. If the amber green persists, the next step would be to erase the flash drive and re-download the software directly from the Sony website. On the Sony.com website homepage, type in your TV model number in the search bar. Under Narrow Your Results, select the Support option. Below the model number, click on the Downloads button and then select your model once again. Now select the Firmware Update link and click on the Download button at the top of the page. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select the Download button one last time. Once the file is downloaded, you will need to extract the file. We use 7-zip in our example and recommend you use the same extracting tool as it is recommended by Sony. Extract the file to the same folder and open your USB flash drive. You will want to drag and drop the extracted file into the USB flash drive folder. Once completed, you may eject the USB flash drive. Now that we've downloaded the software from the Sony website, we will go through the pairing process once again. With power unplugged, let's insert the flash drive. We'll go ahead and insert the power cable back in. And as mentioned previously, it will take 10 to 15 seconds for the pilot light to start illuminating. The pairing procedure is not taking, so we'll go ahead and disconnect and reconnect and try a second time. And let's go ahead and do that a final third time. Now, if the pairing procedure does not take on the third try, an alternative option is to let the set rest for six to eight hours with the flash drive connected and power connected. Generally, after that six to eight hour period, the update will have processed through, and when you come back, the TV will actually have already completed the pairing process. At that point, the amber green should no longer be flashing, and you can go ahead and turn on the TV sets and see the home screen. Once you do so, only then will you want to remove the flash drive. If the amber green light is still flashing after that six to eight hour period, in that case, let's go ahead and remove the flash drive and bring it back to the computer. Insert the USB flash drive 
back into your computer and open the flash drive folder. Select the file and rename it to upgrade underscore loader. Close the folder and eject the USB flash drive. Now that we have renamed the file to upgrade loader.package, we'll go ahead and try one more time. We'll insert the flash drive, as always with the power disconnected first. We'll go ahead and plug that in. And once again, we'll wait the 10 to 15 seconds for the pilot light to start flashing. The pairing procedure is now working. We do have that slowly flashing white light. And as mentioned earlier, it is imperative we do not press the power button on the remote, on the side buttons, disconnect the TV from power, or remove the flash drive. Okay, there are two scenarios that can occur from this point regarding the pairing. Either the procedure will take a full hour and the TV will turn on and display the home screen once completed, or the procedure will take 30 minutes and the pilot light will flash an amber and green color once again. If the latter of the two occurs, then the pairing process will need to be completed a second time. Simply disconnect the power from the set and reconnect. The second part of the pairing procedure should begin immediately. If it does not, simply disconnect the power once again and reconnect. After the second portion of the pairing procedure is completed, the TV will turn on with proper picture on screen. Once and only once the TV turns on and displays the home screen can you disconnect the USB flash drive. Now we will show you a few issues that can occur after we have properly completed the pairing procedure. If the color and pattern test appears on screen, this means the LVDS ribbons are either damaged or improperly connected. If the pairing process is occurring at the same time, you must wait for the update to complete. Only once the update is completed can you disconnect the TV from power and reconnect your ribbons. Once again, if you are unsure how to properly connect your LVDS ribbons, please click on the installation guide video at the top right portion of the screen. Once this is done, you may apply the power back to the TV. If the TV does not automatically turn on after 20 seconds or begin the pairing procedure, then you may press the power button. The TV should turn on and display the home menu screen if the pairing was successful. If the backlight turns on, the audio works but no picture can be seen on screen, press and hold the power button until the TV turns off. This will take about 10 to 15 seconds as well. The TV will reboot and start blinking amber green once more. After a short period of time, the update procedure will begin. For this step specifically, we do not want to disconnect the power. The update will begin automatically.